Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, we are back with another cut gameplay commentary in which we are doing something a little bit different. We're putting our money where our mouth is and playing some singed, not in flex queue, but in solo queue today up in the top lane up against what looks like a Cho'Gath. And the reason we're doing that is because I want to do something a, a little bit different, as I said. I want to see if I can provide some evidence and, you know, Try, try and not just be all talk. I don't know if you guys have ever really paid much attention about at this or, or thought about this much, but I've always found it a little bit frustrating whenever YouTubers will go and make gameplay commentaries and they'll be like, whoa, look at how OP this new build and champion is, dude. But then they'll go and they'll play on like a gold rated account or they'll play on a smurf or they'll play in a custom game or something and it's like yeah okay if i'm playing in gold and i'm a platinum player or a, or a diamond player i'm a diamond player not a platinum player shut up but it is gonna bother you because you're human and and i was human i am human still um if i'm playing in gold and i'm a diamond player then i can make any champion or any stupid build work right That that's not something that's like all that impressive so today we're going to be doing the opposite of that we're, we're going to be uh we're going to actually be playing in solo queue this is diamond Four Seventy Five lp i believe somewhere around there you know th this is pretty pretty high rating or at least for us it is and we're going to be putting our money where our mouth is and choking a kill that we should have got oh Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I don't know, I can't help but feel like if I'm gonna make a big video that's saying, go not only play Singed and Ranked, uh, but I, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like if I'm gonna go and make a video that says, not only go play Singed and Ranked right now, but if I'm telling people to literally first time him in Ranked, I gotta provide some evidence that it actually works. But it looks like Cho'Gath is gonna go for a very defensive build, which is exactly what he should be doing. You know, that that's basically what you wanna do if you ever go up against Singed, is go play a tank, and not only play a tank, but play a tank that can go and effectively build the one item. What's the one item called? The one thing? Abyssal Mask, right? That That's the one where it's like it reduces 15% damage for um, every... No, that's not Abyssal Mask. What is it? What is it? It's... Adaptive Helm, that's what it is. Shogath actually is being a bit of an idiot and not going for it, thankfully. That's going to make our lives a little bit easier. But that that's like a single item that will just shut Singe down and counter him so he won't be able to kill you in laning phase or anything. So, uh, word of advice, go and, and build that if you ever have to play against Singe yourself. Ooh, are we going to be greedy? We're going to be greedy. We're going to be really greedy and hope that Lee Sin is not here. And thank goodness it works out. Okay, that, that is a phenomenal start for us, kind of. Uh, it, it sucks that our bot lane is kind of not doing so well, but at the same time, we're doing pretty decent ourselves, even CS with Cho'Gath already invading and stealing buffs. The question for this game is what, what build do we want to go for? We kind of have a weird team composition. I don't know if I need to go for damage and go for the early Rylai's because we have a Evern jungle and also an Alistar support, so no mage support or anything. But we also don't really have a tank. We only have the Alistar support. I don't think Evern jungle is really that tanky of a tank, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll probably go for a little bit of a hybrid build, maybe go for the early Rylai's. But a completely even game now after Bot gets a double kill, so... A good opportunity to showcase just how good Singed is, and... Let's go ahead and actually start proxying. We can totally do that now. With Lee Sin bot, too. Lee Sin is right there. And also Infernal Drake's up. So if people try and collapse on me, then they're going to be in for a bit of trouble. I don't know if Cho'Gath is good at clearing waves under tower, but that's another thing that uh, proxying is really good for, is denying CS from people who can't last hit perfectly under tower. Cho'Gath would probably be better better off just going and, and, and trying to, um, you know, stand out here. Don't let the minions hit tower. Yeah, that's what he's going to do now. Oh, I think you're dead, dude. I cannot help you out there. Oh. Go for it, Lee. Go, 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 go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my God. You guys are chasing far, aren't you? What are you doing? Uh oh. I didn't mean to get hit by that. Oh, she gets so low. Oh, I want to... Oh, I want to kill her. No, 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 ah! Okay, LeBlanc actually got the least in there, at least. And that's a one for one. Shoot, Cho'Gath did use Flash, too. But I don't want to give Cho'Gath any kills. Like, that, uh, that, that, that's bad. Did we take this tower? Cho'Gath just teleported bot lane. That should be tower. And not only is that tower, but that's first tower. So there we go. Mid making up for our mistake a little bit. And 
Good work. Okay, there we go. Bring in some jungle pressure top. And that should let our bot lane get a couple of kills. Good job, bot lane. Good job, mid lane as well. You're down there. And while Cho'Gath is finally getting some damage on top tower, we're, we might actually be able to take mid if bot doesn't die and they keep on bringing everyone down there. We're getting some significant damage on this tower, at least. This was full when we started. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, a, a pretty boring early game when it comes to kills, only getting that one assist, but th this is kind of showing you guys just how, how much power you have on Singe to clear waves and then go be useful in other lanes. Oh. Oh, that is a cool combo. That is a really cool combo. Uh-oh. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Double kill. There we go. There we go. Oh, can we... Oh my god, that's the coolest combo ever! And, oh my god, <laughs> fucking choke All right, that's dope though. We are now at our righteous glory at 18 minutes, which is pretty solid. And we finally have to sell one of these boys for... What should we go for next? I think I kind of want to go for... They're all magic damage, Orianna and Shogath. So let's get some magic resistance. Oh. Oh, you stupid fucking... I hate Lulu, man. God damn it. This Cho'Gath is now 4-0. See, this is the one thing I didn't want to have happen. What are you guys doing? Are you getting kills? Oh, this is only Lulu here, isn't it? She cannot stop me from taking this. I don't know where Kasai is. Is she up there? Okay, she's dead. Wow, this is going to be another free tower. They have a 7-1-4 Orianna and a 4-0-0 Cho'Gath. And we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game through split push. We're going to win this game through pretty much everything other than just straight team fighting, I think. What, what we did right there was we shoved that wave really hard. So Cho'Gath is standing really far forward. He's probably going to think about trying to get some damage on that tower, but he's not going to be able to because... Oh, gotcha, bitch. He's not going to have minions there. And then we're going to go and kill his team in the meantime and not die and kill his team and not die and kill his team and not die. And kill his team. There we go. There we go! Dude, we're so amazing! Don't kill me, Baron. Good job. Got the shutdown on Cho'Gath, too. And we're not going to be able to finish Baron, but that's okay, because that is still, like, five kills on their team. Uh-oh. God damn it. Okay. Kill the raid boss. And then that should be game. We should Baron off this. We already killed Oriana. There we go. Good job. Solid warding, by the way, team. I, I, I've i been placing my wards, but... I mean, there are a lot more than two wards down right now. Good vision control. Don't let him get in. Oh, he can't, he can't jump. He can't jump on the goop. <laughs> there we go. Good job, team. Oh. Can we do any... Uh, he's... Not who we should be focusing. Oh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Ooh! Kill the tower. Oh, come on, Lulu. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I've done a good job of explaining how I am totally the one that's carrying this game. Like, everyone on this team was good, so I can't really say that I'm, I'm the only one that caused this to win. But I think you guys probably saw um, just the amount of map presence that you can have and, and the, um, th the map presence you can have, the wave clear you can have, just how useful you can be not only in the early game through proxy farming, but in the mid and late game through clearing multiple waves in multiple lanes. It really makes winning games easy. Give some honor to that Evern because that combo was actually super sweet. When he would land his thing and I would jump to him and then flip him back in the team, that was dope. Yeah, good job. 
You, you played a lot better than I thought you would. I have not seen any Vern in a while. You can see the stats, though. Th these are generally the stats you'll see in games on Singe, where you'll go for, like, a somewhat tanky build like that, just with Rylize as your only AP item. We did more damage than Cho'Gath. We did more damage than Evern or Alistar. A substantial amount of damage throughout the game, but not only do we deal a fair amount of damage like that, but we also uh, took the most damage, uh, most damage on our team, at least, being a solid tank that, you know, taking the most damage while only dying four times, and not only only that, that, but we also, well, where's the, um, did the most damage to turrets, which, uh, th that's, that's another part of Singe that's so great. You're surprisingly good at taking down turrets for someone that's like a mage tank. Anyway, though, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's video, and I hope that I kind of showed that I wasn't just blowing hot air when I was talking about how Singed is totally a good champion. Uh, he, he's definitely someone that I will be playing a fair amount whenever I am worried about getting demoted, or if I want to climb in rating. Anyway, though, I will see you all in tomorrow's video, but until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.